Welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Um, welcome to my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your beautiful support of me and each other in the comment section. You guys are incredible. I really appreciate your beautiful comments to me. I don't get a chance to respond to all of them, but I try to read them all. And I just really appreciate you guys. You guys are like lights in my life. So thank you much. Thank you so much for being here. And if you have stumbled across this channel for the very first time, we want to welcome you as well. Um, I do offer a chance to win a free reading for my subscribers so be sure to hit your notification bell and your subscribe button and you can drop a comment under any of my videos this month for your chance to win a free video reading with me it's just a way of me of me giving back to the people who keep coming back to my channel um, and I just really appreciate your friendship so I would like to offer that to you as well so please subscribe and drop your comment below for your chance to win too um, if you're here for the very first time I do pick a card readings on this channel so please get cozy we're gonna have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather here together for today's pick a card topic, we're looking at the next three months with the person on your mind and are they going to contact you? Are they going to reach out to you? Maybe this person has ghosted you or maybe you've just kind of fallen out of contact, but you're wondering if there's going to be any momentum in the next three months. So we're going to look into that today. We're also going to see what goes beyond that. So if there is contact, what happens? If there isn't contact, what happens next for you? So we do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one here with the um, love potion. <clears throat> Pile number two with the High Priestess. And pile number three with the Wheel of Fortune. This is actually the Ace of Cups in this Anatomy Tarot. So the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Wheel of Fortune. Whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting today from Spirit. You can even be attracted to multiple piles. Um, but my timestamps are listed below, and I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, for this reading topic, we're looking at the next three months, and will the person on your mind reach out to you, and what goes beyond that point? Pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You are drawn to the little pink flower and to the love potion here, the Ace of Cups, and this is your reading. The person on your mind, are they going to reach out to you within the next three months? Um, and what goes beyond that? What lies beyond that contact if there is some? And what happens for you if there isn't? Um, so the Ace of Cups is a good start because it talks about new emotional beginnings. It's a love potion, number one, it says here, and there's a big heart on it. So you're feeling pretty vulnerable. Maybe this just started and it didn't it didn't go anywhere. Maybe the connection was just uh, instant attraction. Maybe you guys communicated for a little bit and then it sort of fizzled off before it had a chance, but they definitely left an impression on you. Um, so let's take a look and see. I'm going to be using the Hocus Pocus Tarot for you. So over the next three months, will pile one hear from their person and what happens if they do? So will you hear from this person in the next three months time, please? What can you expect over the next three months when it comes to the person on your mind? We have the nine of wands. We have the lovers. You can see here, a number has been exchanged. So maybe the two of you exchanged numbers. You were perhaps texting back and forth. Or maybe you just exchanged numbers and now you're waiting. The High Priestess. The Page of Swords. I don't know why, but I'm really focused on the back of his head that says ice. It's been sort of trimmed into his hair. Back of the deck is the death energy. Back, oh, I'm sorry, the last card is the death energy. We also have here the ten of swords, and we do have the star energy. So let's clarify this as we go forward. What to expect over the next three months from the, from the person on your mind. We have the two of swords. The five of wands. There seems to be a, a bit of a competitive edge surrounding this person. 
And they seem to be in the sort of the period of their life where they they don't have a lot of responsibilities or they're they're maybe being pulled in a lot of different directions right now. But the high priestess comes out twice here. With the seven of cups the high priestess comes out twice here because they are talking about your intuition and about how heightened it actually is when it comes to this person um i feel like you really were attracted to this person and i feel like they were really mutually attracted to you too but it almost feels like right person wrong time frame or something it's like things were exchanged between the two of you but i do feel like there could be a bit of a passive approach to you pal one i feel like this person um maybe is exercising their options or exploring their options and so the advice comes in for you from your guides to do the same because as we move through your spread um this ace of cups this new emotional start um it may not be with this person on your mind that you're asking about when it comes to your future in love because they are encouraging you to let go of your expectations when it comes to this person but they're not saying to you that this is a negative request like they keep highlighting even though the ten of swords the death cycle this can feel like such a limiting energy but it's actually lighting us up in the dark all of this lightning it's lighting up the darkness to offer us something new to strive for or something new to focus upon a new light or a new awareness because when this closes off this cycle we're automatically in a healing realm we're automatically moving into a healing zone and then we get options for ourselves that are coming in i feel like the next three months you can expect this person to be passive towards you and it is their passive nature that is the enlightenment here it's like their passive approach and their loss becomes somebody else's gain potentially for you pile one because this devil energy reverse again there's hesitation and and spirit doesn't want their hesitation to turn into some sort of hesitation or insecurity within the divine feminine or to make you feel like um there's a codependent energy here they don't want that for you um that's why they want you to feel secure in your independence they want you to feel secure in what you have to offer the world you could be a virgo a capricorn a taurus you don't have to be very strong emphasis on capricorn and leo here gemini as well aquarius <laughs> But what's beautiful about you is everything. And that's what spirit wants you to understand. They're trying to light up this lesson for you. There could have been a school or work connection with this person, specifically maybe like university, college, something like that. That's not for everyone. Um, but they're talking about if this person puts you on ice and they're going to be complacent, somebody else is not going to be for you, pile one. So I feel like they're going to leave you confused over the next three months. But again, that confusion, their lack of effort is all the information you need. Ultimately, it makes you feel vulnerable, but there's still this beautiful green light towards your empowerment and what to expect moving forward. Because again, this is just closing out the chapter so you can have a new emotional start. And this vulnerable heart perhaps is the necessary toll, is what Spirit's saying, the necessary toll to execute that fresh beginning. So although it may be disappointing to hear that this person may disappoint you over the next three months, Spirit says they still have this wheel of fortune afforded to you and so now we're getting into the section of the reading of what can you expect moving forward then in the next three months if you don't hear from this person which i feel like they're going to be very passive and leave you kind of confused um, but this confusion is turning into a transformation of options for you so let's ask spirit about that Because they're talking about a turn of events in your favor, especially amidst this healing cycle. And it's going to happen while you're kind of grieving the frustrating delays of this person on your mind. That perhaps, again, you've exchanged numbers with or you were out, out about in the world and you were giving each other, um, you're exchanging information. We have the Seven of Cups. It's interesting because we're starting with the Seven of Cups at the end of your reading and that's where Spirit's starting for you today options are coming in for you that's what they want you to do is, is claim your independence so you can explore these options that are coming in i do feel like there could be a very heavy internet aspect to your dating world right now or there might be moving forward because they are talking about an online energy that's going to help to propel you into more of an ascension you have the hierophant oh my goodness for someone watching you know I feel like you're dealing with a very youthful energy with the person on your mind right now, but the, the energy that's coming forward for you is very mature, actually. Feels much more mature. 
But they're also speaking about institutions being involved, um, education, government, marriage, that sort of energy. Um, and they're talking about elevation and leveling up for you, for the Divine Feminine. We have the star. But they're really telling you that it's like you have to trust in your own intuition and your own good sense in this matter because you're already sitting upon information about this person that you know to be true. Maybe you know they're a little bit of a player. Maybe you know that they've kind of shown themselves to be unreliable in the past. And so we already can, can even though it may sting a little bit, we can already take that information and start that healing cycle. And sometimes we may ask ourselves, well, that was such a waste of time, then why did I waste my time there? And I often feel that sometimes with the star of like these two cups being wasted out, but nothing's going to waste. Nothing's going to waste. We have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. They're really excited about, you, about your future for you, Pal One, because again, this doorway closing and the expectations being lost there, it's like their loss is going to be your gain or someone else's gain because you're in for an upgrade. They don't want you to jump to any sort of despair conclusions. They don't want you to thrust yourself into despair because you really had your heart set upon this person. Because what they're trying to do is to try to bypass all of that grief. They're trying to kind of shoot you past like a slingshot with this Eight of Wands. They are talking about a really, really fiery attraction that's coming in that's going to make this other person kind of pale in comparison of what they have to offer you. Um, and I feel like this person coming in is very confident. I feel like they have a, they are really funny. I feel like they just have a lot to, to say and they're just confident. They bring forward a confidence that makes you feel more secure about their intentions moving forward because you're in for an upgrade. But you're still going to have to make that decision about which which arena you want to apply your focus because you have options. And I do feel like perhaps eventually this person on your mind might reach out to you. It just won't come in within that three month time frame that we're asking about today. So even this person coming forward, you may have even more options, especially if you're dealing with online energy for you to sort of rifle through over the next three months. But one of these options is really, really abundant and you're gonna be really super attracted to them. And I think you're gonna be attracted to how funny they are and how charismatic they are and how easy their confidence seems to come through. Um, not that they are completely confident, but they are trying to put that best foot forward for you, Pal One. We have here, know that you're loved. New Moon in Libra. Divine Feminine could definitely be an air sign. Um, and it was coming in reverse because this person's actions towards you might make you question that, make, make you question yourself. But that's why they don't want you to embrace anybody else's truth as your gospel. We have Lighten Up. I just saw Be Proud of Yourself. And we also have here Embrace the Flow of Life. And they're asking us to lighten up because of the Ten of Swords energy, because of the death energy, and how that can be a very negative, um, or can feel like a very negative uh, movement. But Spirit says we need to look at the sun. We need to look at the positives of this. That with every door that closes, we have this window that opens up. Um, and they want you to embrace what, what Spirit has in store for you. Um, there is a forgiveness cycle here associated with the healing. So you're, it's like forgiving this person for their own mismanagement of time. <laughs> forgiving them for their own deficits. But allowing that forgiveness to propel you into a healing cycle because you deserve it. Can you expect over the next three months? Please put pile number one. Acceptance. And there is a really a certain amount of kind of helplessness when we're dealing with other people and, and our expectations over how they're going to treat us. Um, sometimes we just have to accept what is being offered to us or what is not being offered to us as, as an educator or as a clarifying agent. And I feel like it was like really, I think there was a really strong attraction here. It was just like an innocent attraction that hadn't really gone really far. Um, but don't be worried about other people's opinions. There's the vanity card. There's a difference between being isolated and being alone here. And they don't want you to inflate this sense of despair or to inflate the purpose of this connection in your experience. Spirit says that this person may just be acting as a vessel or a vehicle of your awareness towards more. 
And every point of contact that we make in life with every person are different levels of connection that we're making. Even the, the attendant at the gas station, it's a different level of connection. But we have an opportunity in those moments to lead from a heart space of love, to, to be kind. Um, and then this person, again, a second level of connection where they're acting as a vessel or a vehicle to get you to that next shore. So don't be concerned about what travel is bringing you and don't overinflate the importance of this person in your life just because the attraction was really strong because they're trying to bring you towards an upgrade and something so much better. So we have isolation on the back of the deck and there's bittersweet because there is something very bittersweet about the nature of your spread pile one because there is negativity but so much abundance to be expected after we accept that negativity. After we accept that perhaps this person isn't going to match what we want them to do then we can we can use that as a as a teacher and then we can move forward with that information to exercise our options pile number one please 11 11 numbers and doubles synchronicity and two don't hold your love back now because life is meant for you and saint jude the patron saint of impossible causes a reminder of for even the most hopeless of lost cases that you can find peace within the strangest of places so even though this is is not turning in your favor um you're going to find peace in a strange place and you're going to find more than what you bargained for in this place as well for some watching, and not for all, but for one specific person, this could be a really profound next connection for you coming in. Not the person on your mind, but the new energy that's coming in could be a really important aspect of your future. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. Advice from your guides about what to expect over the next three months. Five of Cups mourning, but forgiveness cycles. Taking away burdens that are no longer yours. And really facing the burden of the unknown in a new communication cycle with a new energy coming in. So really having to kind of jump from the boat of despair into a new boat. And, and they're asking for that movement to be pretty quick because it's the next three months. And they know that you're feeling kind of overwhelmed by that old attachment. And you might be carrying some of that flame into the new beginning, but that's okay. With time and with investment, you may start to drop those old ones. In the bowl today, we have the Six of Swords, so transitioning into clarity and closure, but I feel like you're going to get there on your own. Um, there's also a new cycle in love coming in for you as well. Love and Beloved, I always think of the name Amy with Beloved. Um, I was named after a nun, and her name was St. Amy de Marie, and her name was Beloved of Mary, so I always think about that. Um, we have the gift coming in, so where we think we're going to get disappointed, Spirit's like, we actually have a gift for you. It's a part of your transformation, but it's involving this healing cycle, but it's the white sea star, which means they're trying to bring you towards clarity over that old cycle. And then we have I Love My Cat. I think of Leo. All right. Pile one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it did, drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. I'm waiting back to hear from my most recent winner, so be sure to check your notifications. If you have dropped me a comment, I may have responded to you in the comment section, giving you um, instructions on how to reach out to me, so be sure to check your notifications. You can also check out my link for Etsy for personal reading, but I hope that you come back and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the little white flower or to the high priestess, and this is your reading. What can you expect from the person on your mind over the next three months? Will they reach out to you? What can you expect beyond that point? The high priestess here, you were drawn to the little white flower, and she's got all of these beautiful little white flowers blooming out of her head. And I do think of the daisy, and I think about the questions about do they care? Do they like me? Do they like me not? Um, the high priestess can also speak to your intuition and what you are sitting upon like information, wisdom about this person, wisdom about your own intuitive beliefs about what you think is going to happen and how you may already be sitting on your answer right now. So let's take a look here and see. So what to expect over the next three months when it comes to this person on your mind? Are they going to reach out to pile number two? They're talking about wisdom being compacted. That's what I just heard, compacted wisdom. Ten of Wands. King of Cups.
Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Oh, we have the Nine of Wands showing itself as well. Back of the deck, we have the Death Energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So let's take a look here and see what the... What the clarifying cards are going to say. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. Okay, so Pile 2, there seems to be a lot of complications for someone who's watching. And I am dealing with collective energy, so please take the messages as they resonate with you. Um, this King of Cups is reversed, and he has the Three of Swords. And I sometimes think of like emotional manipulation or somebody who feels overwhelmed emotionally or feels like um, they're being flooded with too much emotion with that card. I feel like there's going to be revelations for you over the next three months. But I feel like part of these revelations, although clarifying, also provide a little bit more obstacles here. I do feel like there will be contact and I feel like it won't even take three months. If I'm honest, I feel like it might even be within the midst of that, like one and a half months from now, for, for instance, from the time that you see this video. Um, because I feel communication is going to be coming in for you. And there's reunion energy surrounding this connection. And it feels like somebody from your past, it could be just a friendship energy. It could be more. It could just, just be a friendship that we're really curious about. Uh, but I do feel like there's going to be contact, not even not even three months away. I feel like even before then, I feel like there's going to be contact and communication. But the communication that comes in is almost creating extra burdens upon you. You could be an air sign. You could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Specifically, I feel like you're a very intuitive person. I'm almost getting like a teaching element. So there could be a teacher amidst, amidst us who's watching. Um, but the clarity that they bring in, although it does clarify perhaps their attraction to you and clarify, and if, it may even be through actions, to be honest, clarifies their attraction to you. There's also extra information that's coming in that does seem to impede the growth of this connection. Because it's like there is a start-stop energy. It's like we get... We are told to hurry up and then wait, hurry up and then wait because we have the reunion, but then there's delays associated with this rebirth because it's associated with the death cycle. And so the seven of coins with this death cycle is communicating that the person on your mind may have a lot of practical investments that they are using you as a consideration within. So they're considering climbing a new mountain. <laughs> they climbed one mountain that didn't involve you. But that could be the mountain that's getting in the way of this connection. And so what's going to be revealed to you perhaps is the other mountain. Because there's something revealing that includes this death cycle. And sometimes with the death cycle, we have to sacrifice something that we've invested in. Other relationships, other, other focuses, we have to sacrifice them so that we can go into something more abundant. But this could be a huge sacrifice that's being asked in this connection. So although there is communication between the two of you, this communication requires careful handling. It requires a, a practical plan towards further growth and further action needed in order for us to move our chariot and move our wheel of fortune into something more positive. And sp that could be the aspect of the information you're already privy to of their difficulties, their obstacles, and the nature of the difficulties to get to where the two of you wanna be in a relationship. Because I still sense like some frustrating delays amidst the reunions that I'm feeling within the next three months. And I, I feel like the Divine Masculine's position has a big part to play in that. And there's jealousy and, and competition associated with it too. So I really feel like there's going to be communication. But within the communication are some more obstacles that we're going to have to face. But I feel like that communication may continue or prolong like I feel like it'll be an ongoing communication after that point um, but this king of cups keeps telling me that he's feeling smothered in some way and it's associated with with, the, with information you already know to be true about the nature um, of this connection 
So yes, they'll be they'll reach out to you. We have soulmate and true love coming out. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yes, this is your soulmate. But it says you deserve love. You are lovable. And look at how the Divine Feminine is holding back that bow, not shooting her shot. And I do feel like they'll be asked of the Divine Feminine to hold back or to delay or to wait. And so this Queen of Swords that started out the reading as a support to the burden is having to make a really important decision moving forward when this communication opens up about whether or not you actually want to invest there, whether you want to wait for this movement. So let's ask Spirit about what's going to happen moving forward. There's the High Priestess again. The High Priestess says, you already know <laughs> what might happen when we move forward. Uh, and in the very least, if we don't know what's going to happen, we need to really trust in our intuition, our feminine intuition, our masculine intuition, whatever the case may be. We need to trust in it to lead us here because there is the clarity. The sun is clarifying, but it also has the hot sauce around it. Hmm. And even the St. John's wart is, was traditionally used um, spiritually to ward off evil and things of that nature. So we have the page of fire. Spirit says what to expect next once the communication opens up is fire. It's like clarifying our feelings perhaps through fire because the 10 and the, the 9 is, is the sun energy as well. So the night of fire is cayenne pepper. It's a hot energy. It can sometimes burn a little bit. Um, the page uh, or the knight of wands is Leo energy as well. So this person may take action towards you in a very physical sense. It feels very impulsive. And then we have the awakening. So lots of reflections to make. And then we have the moon. Back of the deck is the burdock with the six of pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a continuation of the communication, but the hanged man says that you may be out of luck when it comes to progress after the three months period of time. Because then we have a lot of reflecting to do about the imbalances that still exist and whether or not we're ready to face the unknown. There's also a lot of suppression about the connection, so it may be kept kind of on the down low for someone watching. So please take that as it resonates. There's very strong Scorpio energy here as well. And this hanged one as well, there is significant delays coming in and it's coming in as the form of this burdock because burdock will, and I've talked about this before, um, that burdock only grows in follow land. It only grows when there's no more nutrients. And so it just depletes the soil of everything. But then they'll take the leaves of the burdock and they will compost it and they'll replenish the soil with it. But the irony is that the burdock can't, can't thrive anymore and it dies off because of its own revitalization and so there's an irony surrounding the length of delay and an irony surrounding the change of your perspective amidst that delay when you trust your intuition to guide you um, that you may feel like you will no longer thrive in that environment um, or you may feel like you no longer want to invest but that's something that the divine feminine is going to have to make a decision about when this communication does open back up and there's a lot of major themes here like a lot of major themes connected to this fiery impulsive action high priestess the sun the awakening the moon we are facing some major major themes here but also a bit of a stagnation so it gives us the opportunity to embrace these themes and to work on the imbalances within them but they are indicating that the divine feminine may decide that she doesn't want to overall wait forever she may not want to wait forever We have here, let your fears dissolve. Full, full moon in Cancer. Be humble. <laughs> and there's a very strong, really strong Leo energy here. And they're asking for humility because you're going to get the clarity that you're looking for. And you're also going to get a lot of attention from this person in a very fiery way. Step up and lead, new moon in Capricorn. And if that says here, focus on the positive, it was coming in reverse because that may be a challenge for the Divine Feminine if she is asked to delay a long time. Um, they're asking the Divine Feminine also to step up and lead when it comes to codependencies, when it comes to attachments, and to trust her intuition to guide her in those decisions as well. So this, is, this connection is not over for you, Pile 2. Advice for pile two moving forward, please. 
We have here a moment's joy, sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. And I feel like it's like fleeting moments together. It's like little moments together, and it brings us so much joy and abundance in that moment, but it's fleeting. We also have here a three-eyed raven. It says here, prepare for the unexpected. A messenger raven calls out with news as sunrise hits upon the dew. So a messenger raven, which can vocalize, is coming forward to speak to you. We also have here a distant kiss and a prayer flag, though. I wish of all wishes that you were here. Through sunlight and rain, I need you near. Um, and so they, they are speaking about the news coming in, but then the desired outcome being still in the distance. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. Advice for pile number two with the contact. We have the three of pentacles, I think of foundations. Um, so we have the three of pentacles, the seven of cups, and the three of cups reversed. And there is an aspect of foundations be maybe being at the key of the issues here. Um, I do feel like we have an aspect of m too many cooks in the kitchen for somebody watching. So there could be third party here because there's options coming in that you're, the divine feminine is going to have to rifle through. She's going to have to make a decision. Um, I feel like there's a lot of fantasy surrounding you. Um, but I also ex think that the Divine Feminine moving forward might experience like a lack of emotional support at times from this person because of other responsibilities that they have. Ooh. In the bowl today, we have the wrench in our plants and it's connected to, it's like literally got this, this little baby deer by the neck. So it could be children, so please take that as it resonates, or just an emotional immaturity that's making them hesitate. But we do have the Six of Cups, Six of Cups, so reunions, and also children, again, being a factor, because here is a chariot. And so somebody could be making a decision based on their kids. Even the King of Cups here can be a father figure. We have W and P. We have a, a Pearl of Wisdom, so there's going to be communication and more clarity. We do have a dime here from 2014. I think about October or the 10th of any month. We have baby feet again, so slow little steps. And we have the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. I'm late for a very important date, but it's the rabbit. I think of the page of wands and fire and attraction. And we have him blowing the horn. So <laughs> this person's coming forward with a proclamation of some kind. All right, that's what I have for you today. Pile two. If it resonates with you, please drop your comment below for a chance to win um, a free reading with me. You can also check out my links below for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. But I hope you come back and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You were drawn to the little blue flower or to the Wheel of Fortune here, and this is your reading. What can you expect over the next three months from the person on your mind? Are they going to contact you? Um, and if so, what's going to happen next? And if not, what's going to happen next for you? So the Wheel of Fortune here does talk about turn of events in your favor, perhaps positive turn of events. So, and there's on this card, there's a lot going on. Um, there's these daisies here that are really grabbing my attention about confusion and uncertainty about how you're feeling about this person right now. So let's take a look here. What can Pile 3 expect, please, when it comes to contact over the next three months? I feel like there's this aspect of, like, have they forgotten all about me? <laughs> like, have they forgotten me with the blue flower? We have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Divine Feminine here could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We have the Three of Wands. Ace of Cups. I feel like you're really working on yourself. I feel like the Divine Feminine has been really like focused on herself, working on herself. If you aren't, that could be Spirit's sign to get started in that process. We have the Tower. Because they're also speaking about this powerful change coming for you within yourself. Look at the lightning bolts coming out of the crown. It's like a permanent change within you. We have the Four of Pentacles. Back of the deck, we have the Lovers. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune again for you. So let's clarify this as we go. Two 
two of swords. The ace of cups. I feel like cause there's this aspect of the divine feminine, like really limiting her distractions and just really being focused on herself or being focused on her coin, being focused on her abundance. Again, that could be a call to action from your guides. It'd be like, now's the time to really go inward and really start to build up that self-care, that love, that cup. And for someone, and this is not for everyone, but for someone specifically, I feel like you're going to the gym or something. Like, I almost feel like you're setting up weights. Like, there's this aspect of, like, really working on yourself or making plans to do so. And there's, like, this domino effect in that. That's what they're talking about with the dominoes. There's a domino effect. It's like every time you put effort into yourself, you're communicating to the universe that that's what you intend to see happen in the future. And that's what you expect in the future. Um... I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. I think you're going to have a very positive turn of events in your in your life. And, and it feels like it's not even something that you're necessarily looking on the horizon for. It's just I'm working on me. I'm focused on my independence. And if they want to come forward, then great. Then that's great. And because of that aspect of distractions being removed, it's like, it's like God corresponds with the desires of your heart overall. Because there's the two of cups. And that's what they want us to understand about the nature of the Wheel of Fortune is that we, I often say, this is a turn of events for you, but you're doing it. You're making it happen. All of the good things that you're going to see coming in your future are going to be because of the effort you put in the past to plant those positive seeds. We have this star. Back of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, pile three. It's really exciting for you because, again, you are you already know who you are. And if you don't, again, that spirit's call for you to find out, to peel back those layers, to reveal that to you, because there's nothing wrong with you. We're revealing what is right about you um, in this lifetime. And what's exciting is that I do feel like there's going to be a turn of events here, and I think it is in your favor. I think you're already turning that wheel in that direction, and I feel like this is going to turn into a relationship. Not only will they reach out, I feel like it won't even take three months for some watching. It might just be a month away. And I feel like it's going to be the moment that we take action upon that changes a lot of things for us moving forward. It communicates our independence. It communicates our abundance. It just communicates so much. And I see growth moving forward after this tower. After the tower falls, I see a relationship. I see healing. I see reflections. I see, um, I see further aspects of hope being instilled. I see growth. I see building almost a, a life together a little bit, to be honest. And that won't be for everyone because some of you will go into the relationship and you'll realize, huh, this person's not matching my frequency and I'm not satisfied and maybe you'll walk away. But there's so much potential moving forward. And so for some watching this is moving into a relationship. We're going to start with a communication cycle. That's how it's going to start. And I feel like you're going to have the upper hand there. I just feel like you're going to have the upper hand overall, to be honest, for the divine feminine. It's like this person's almost like having to prove themselves to you. And rightfully so when you're sitting on that on that throne. Um, and I feel like they're going to be on their best behavior when it comes to that too. <laughs> but I see this four of pentacles building upon something. Building a foundation. Making deposits, Spirit just said. Making deposits for the future. So this is a really positive reading for you, Pile 3. Because not only will you get the... the contact that you're looking for because this person finds you really physically attractive maybe again maybe you don't see it the way that you need to see it and this is a call to action to start recognizing who you are and to start acting in kind and that may be acting more kind to yourself because you may not be treating yourself the way you need to be treated and again if you've already been in the process of working on yourself spirit's so proud of you if you are being called to that spirit's so proud of you they're going to keep working with you and they're going to keep pushing you towards who you truly are but this person has taken notice and they are going to reach out and it's a domino effect of more. It's a domino effect of new emotional beginnings, of fiery connections, of having fun. I feel like you might go traveling with this person a little bit this summer because there's an aspect of summertime coming in and going, going away, like traveling, movement with each other. And this movement is not just about the physical, it's also about the emotional healing for the divine feminine as well and making deposits for the future. 
So it, it could move into a relationship cycle if you choose if you choose that during this communication, of course, because the lovers talks about connection, talks about relationships expanding, but also talks about choices and decisions that we have to make in accordance with that. So you have a choice whether or not you want to include yourself in a relationship cycle, but that's going to be afforded to you or available to you in the future of this connection. We have here true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. That card came out in pile one and two, I believe. We have trust though. The situation is calling for you to have faith at this moment. So if you're feeling kind of stagnated or stuck right now, it's time to free yourself from those limiting ideas because you are unique. You are important. You are this Everything beautiful but the Divine Feminine with the Empress with the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles embodies all the other beautiful natures of the other queens. And back of the deck says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This is probably the most abundant spread. You guys were drawn to a beautiful spread. And I think that this has a lot of longevity associated with it for some. And of course, it's all about the choices we make. But there's so much potential. We have the Moon, Scorpio. Eight of Cups. And that's what they're saying. It's They're saying that the worst is behind you when it comes to the fears or when it comes to the delays and when it comes to the waiting because there's going to be... There's going to be further contact. And they're also speaking about not being afraid to face this unknown, not being able, not being afraid to face your own good decisions here because they are bridging a gap towards emotional abundance. And they're saying that you're overcoming now. It's like the worst is behind you when it comes to past disappointments. You're earmarked for success in this next chapter of relationships. So they want you to have fun with it. There's reunions coming with the divine masculine energy. And even your higher self says, this is the start of something big. This is the start of a new cycle, truth cycle, um, the beginnings of something huge, a huge upgrade for you, <laughs> seven of pentacles. I feel like for someone watching, this could eventually move into commitment cycles if you choose to. The person coming forward for you could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, though, that you're asking about. We also have very strong Aquarius energy here. Um, also Gemini, a stranger's grace. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. It's like this person that you perhaps just met haphazardly in the past. Um, they're coming forward. And they're a stranger, but you're going to get to know each other through this communication cycle. And it's amazing how important strangers become to us. One day they're a stranger and the next day you blink and you've been with them for 20 years. So intuition, simple complex words of pain or words that heal. You come to know the truth by the way that it feels. And your high priestess says that it's time for you to trust. It's time for the situation is calling for you to have faith because this is your person perhaps. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity and two. Don't hold back your love now because life is meant for you. So whenever I see the 1111, I think of angels singing. So very positive um, result for you, pile three. Not just communication, not just this person reaching out, but the ability to move into a, a romantic relationship or cycle with this person. Advice for pile three, please, in the bowl. The strength reverse, Leo energy. Scorpio. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. You were drawn to the Wheel of Fortune. And here we have the moon and we have the strength. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, again, is such a beautiful turn of events that you've done with the strength here, that you've pushed forward. And so there's this extra aspect of fear of having to push ourselves out of our comfort zone, perhaps. Um, there could also be an internet. Again, I feel like they're going to reach out to you online. Um, so you may be communicating online. But they're like, there's more that's going to be revealed to you in, in this connection. So much more. There's three major arcanic themes here. There's so much more that's going to be revealed to you in this connection. And it has something to do even with your dreams. So these could be like your actual physical dreams or like your goals. We have I and C. We have here made with love, I think of children, and I think here's the Hierophant step, so climbing the levels together or moving into a, a cycle of commitment eventually. We have love and a phone call, and we have hammer, I think of persistence and sabotage, so it's like, I feel like this person maybe is gearing up to <laughs> reach out to you. We also have your blank card, so creative manifestation and a creative accountability because you have a decision to make about your involvement and investment here. 
We have the burnt out sun. We also have here St. Anthony, the patron saint of lost things or impossible causes sometimes. He's holding on to um, the infant Jesus. So that could be significant to you if you're a Catholic, for instance, or Anthony could be a really important name for you. All right, pile of three, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. I'd love to hear your story, even if you have to come back after the three months to tell it. I would love to hear your story, and it would be a great opportunity for you to drop me a comment um, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be entered in for a chance to win a free reading with me. I would love to read for you. Um, but you can also check out my links below for Etsy for a personal reading or for Instagram. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.